Yes. Good morning. Is the man or woman of the house in? I am sorry. We do not accept visitors. I apologize that we didn't call first, but I couldn't find your phone number. No phone. I see. Well, it's very... No, no visitors. No visitors. Hey, hey! I'm Naomi. I'm Naomi. Oh, hi, Come Naomi. In. Come in. All right, thanks. Come but, Signora! Come. Evans, my associates and I have been staying in Rome, and we're very interested in your castle. It's magnificent. You see, I'm a producer, and I... Producer? Yes, movie producer from Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles? You mean, like, Hollywood? The same. This is our producer here in Italy, L.J. Gambulli, and this is our director, Jensen Curry. It's very nice to meet you. This will be Jensen's first feature, and we're pretty excited about it. Aren't we, LJ? Yeah, it's very excited. Jensen's done a lot of music videos. Green Day, The Jonas Brother, 50 Cent. Really? I like music. Me too. Um, Naomi, is your mother or father home? They're around someplace. But you can go ahead and tell me. Because I'm old enough. All right, well, like I said, we're producing a new movie set here in Italy, and we've been scouting locations. LJ heard about your castle from some of the villagers, and we think it would make a great set. You mean, like, shooting the movie here? Well, yes, part of it. You see, it's... You, you see, it's a World War II spy thriller. Now, our hero gets dropped behind enemy lines on a plot to kill Mussolini. And posing as a village baker, he sneaks into the dictator's kitchen in order to oh, carry that out the... sounds damned exciting. <laughs> but we don't care much for movies around here. Dad. Oh, you're Mr. Arkoff. I we were wanting to meet you. I'm Kimmy Evans. My daughter's gotten a little ahead of herself and forgotten the family rules. We don't take to strangers. I am sorry that we didn't call first, but like I told Naomi, we couldn't find your phone number. Apology accepted. And now you can all turn around and go. Dad, just listen to what they have to say. I have heard enough. D they want to make a World War II movie. Yeah, about a baker, I heard. But we don't want any movies shot here. I don't need a bunch of people stomping around and leaving their garbage everywhere. I assure you we'll leave the castle grounds in immaculate condition. The castle grounds are exactly the way I want them to be. So thanks anyway, but no thanks. There would be a considerable cash compensation for you and your family. We don't need your money. Now I'm sure you can all find your way down the hill from here. There's a little hotel down there. Not up to your standards, I'm sure, but at least they have beds. Sir, maybe if you heard just a little... Peter will show you to the door. Door. This direction. Well, okay, then. Uh, if you change your mind, this has my cell number on it. You can call any... Why do you have to be so mean to them? You're so embarrassing! Don't you talk to me that way! Naomi!
Hey, Jensen. You look so beautiful. I like it when you touch me. She's three hours late for the call time. She finally shows up to the studio with her whole posse, like 20 people. She spends an hour in hair and makeup, and then rips the head off of some poor PA because her water was too cold. She shows up on set, she does one take, and then leaves. I had no choice but to use them. Hollywood oh, sounds so exciting. Doesn't it, Daddy? Bunch of spoiled sissies. Overpaid babies. None of them worth a flying fuck. Oh, Carver. Don't be obstreperous. I'm sure the business has its charms. You don't look like a producer to me, LJ. As far as I know, producers sit behind desks and make phone calls to lackeys. You, however, you look like a man that's had his fair share of hard, honest work. I think so. <clears throat> um, Mr. Arkoff, I'm sure we can work something out to satisfaction. I mean, in terms of a rental fee for your property. You just name your terms and I'll have our lawyers write up a contract. I told you before, no movie is shooting here. Come on, Daddy. Don't start with me again, girl. Or you're gonna take another trip downstairs. What's that? <sighs> Those are the protectors. Protect the castle from evil? Nothing but pests. Daddy, Grandpa says they've been around for 200 years. Your grandpa is disturbed in the head. The protectors? An old Italian legend referring to elementals. Some call them skull heads. You see, the Romans used to bury their dead in underground catacombs. We were told that there might actually be tombs somewhere under this castle. Isn't that cool? When the Ostrogoths and Vandals sacked Rome, they violated the catacombs searching for valuables. The skull heads are creatures born from witchcraft, and they were put here to protect the dead from just such violation. Don't worry, they only show themselves to the face of true evil. It's said that they have the power to bring life and to take it, to bring the dead back from the grave. It's amazing, huh? I'm sure there's a, a lot of interesting stuff about this castle, huh? I'm sure there are. I don't suppose we can have a quick tour. Yes, I would love to take you. I mean, if that's okay with you, Mr. Arkoff. If we can't shoot our film here, maybe a tour would give Jensen some ideas. We could replicate certain rooms on the soundstage if we need to. Please, Daddy, please, 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 Daddy, please, 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 please pretty, 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 please. please oh, please. hell, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you. But this doesn't get you off the hook. You're still due for a trip downstairs. Okay. Come on. It was a lovely meal, Mrs. Icon. The risotto was lumpy. Think for work? It's perfect. You see what they keep in there? They don't even know. To them, it's just old junk. The paintings, the tapestries, 
The pottery alone is worth at least 300,000. Can we move it? I know fans in Rome who can get it off our hands. What's his percentage? Not too bad. We can unload it to collectors not faster than we ever could. When do we go in? What's wrong with tomorrow night? Okay. But nobody gets hurt. <sighs> Don't tell me you have a soft spot for that little piece of pie in there. Look, we can get in and out without anyone seeing us. There's not going to be a reason to hurt them. But if they see us... They won't see us. But if they do, and you don't have the guts to do what needs to be done, I'll do it. Good morning, Signora. Yes, it is a good morning, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah, your breakfast is oh. ready. Thank you so much, Claudia. Mmm, looks so good. <laughs> hey, Claudia. Yes? Did you see that guy last night, Jensen? Oh, he's so nice, isn't he? Eat up, girl. Eat all your breakfast. No, 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 no. That breakfast is the only food that you're gonna get today. You're going downstairs. And you know there's no meals down there. Because of an iPod? Because you let strangers into the house when I told you not to. They were nice. Nothing good can come from strangers. I told you that. But Mom said it was okay. Your mama thinks it's okay to put out cookies for the leprechauns. It's what I say that counts. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Eat your fill. Because you're going downstairs. <laughs> Peter! Basta, sei un bambino cattivo! Vai via! Vai via! Thank you, Mr. Arco. Where do you think you're going? There's still a couple of lights on. Maybe they keep some on, but they must be in bed by now. With that family of weirdos, who knows? Maybe they stay up all night like vampires. All right, look, I want you guys to promise me that when we get in here, you're not going to hurt anyone. I told you, unless we need to. Look, we keep these on. They're not going to be able to tell who we are, so there's not going to be a need to hurt them. You think that they're stupid? What? Three strangers visit them, and the very next night, their castle gets robbed. Even those stupidos can't figure it out. Unless they're spotted by the skull heads. The skull heads? I'm so scared. I'm shaking. I can't believe you could keep a straight face while talking to her about that shit. That is one stupid little girl you've got your eye on, my friend. I don't have my eye on her. All right, and she's not stupid. If you say so. And you're not going to hurt her. Whatever you say, boss. All right, let's go. Let's go. Did you say goodnight to father? 
You know how he likes it when you visit him. He doesn't even know I'm there. That's not true. Of course he does. I didn't see Naomi in her room before I retired. Don't tell me you still have her trust up downstairs. You gotta do something to maintain discipline. That brat's out of control. Carver, you're becoming obsessively obtuse. You know how those big words turn me on. Can you please table your prurient interests for two minutes while we have a civilized tete-a-tete -tete about our daughter? Oh, man, you've got a filthy mouth. Can you not sense my reticence? Does this mean the barn doors are closed? Yes, Carver. In your Neolithic world, that's what it means. All right, I'll go down after a while and let her out. Wasn't gonna have her stay down there all night anyway, if that's what you're worried about. She's not like us, Carver. She's not like you and me. She's a free spirit. She's like Mother. And I'm fearful she may not be much longer in this house. Like hell? You know, your disciplinary actions will only serve to hasten her departure. She's not going anywhere. Not while I have anything to say about it. Well, don't be so sure of that, sweetheart. Carver. Right. Carver, I hear something. Everything feels fine to me. No, there's something wrong with this house. Oh, one of your spooky feelings again? You know what, you know I can sense things. Don't poke fun at me. Okay. How about I just poke you? <laughs> oh, Carver, you're incurred. stack it by the rear doors. Once we're loaded up, we go. Jensen, you go down to the basement. We saw some good stuff down there. Why me? What? Don't tell me you're scared. Something's wrong. What? Something's wrong. I can hear something. Something's wrong in this house. You said that before. One of your uh, spooky feelings, you know, your fifth sense. Sixth sense. Yeah, that too. Oh, I'm serious. This time I think I heard something. Do this? Of course. I told you it's what happens when I misbehave. But it's not right. I told you it's just the way they do things. We need to get you out of here, okay? There's still more in the dining room. The retard still asleep? Like a dead fish. If he wakes up, I'll handle him. All right, I'll clean out the stuff near the stairs. By then, Jensen should be down when you get out of here. Get out of here, okay? Okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. Okay. Well, 
know so much for your fifth sense, dear. Everything looks as normal as always. Oh, yeah? What about that? What about it? Well, where's the vase that goes on top of it? Jensen says that I shouldn't be treated that way. He says that I deserve better. Isn't that sweet of him? Hey, Jensen, will you take me to Hollywood with you? Girl, this guy doesn't give a rat's ass about you. He's just here to rip us off, him and his partners. Where are they, huh? Jensen, is that true? No. But I deserve better. Isn't that sweet of him? Hey, Jensen. Girl, this guy doesn't give a rat's ass about you. He's just here to rip us off, him and his partners. Where are they, huh? Jensen, is that true? No. Not all of it. Look, I don't want you to have to stay here if you don't want to, okay? You're so sweet. Like it's up to her whether she comes or goes. She's old enough to make up her own mind. She's an archon! She belongs here with us. You didn't have to shoot her. Of course I did, you idiot. They can identify you. They can identify us. You bitch! You weren't supposed to kill them. I warned you what would happen. No. That's the way you want to play it, huh? I told you you're not going to hurt her. Me. You really care about me, don't you? All right, let's go, both of you. Come on. Go. Go! Hey, honey, why don't you do me a favor and show me how your daddy straps into that thing over there? Okay. You put your boyfriend into it. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Kimmy, don't do this. Shut the fuck up. Naomi, this isn't a game. Okay. There. That's great. Let's go over here. Come on. Come on. Let's go over here. Go! Hey, Jensen, don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt that much. You can watch. I don't like partners who go against me. The last partner who went against me, you know what I did? I buried him in concrete. You know what they built on top of that concrete? A police station. The cops have been looking for that douchebag for two years, and he's right under their fucking noses. That's funny. Hey, your retarded girlfriend has a sense of humor. Let's see if she thinks this is a riot. <laughs> Death ever used to that button. I'll send flowers to your grave. No! No, 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 no! Jensen, Jensen, stop! Jensen! Jensen!
get out of here. You should have needed his warning. Gloria, you've undercooked the meat tonight. Unacceptable. Oh, Garvey, don't be so boorish and uncouth. Must have hit the body. Why? I gotta go check on Grandpa. Naomi, no! I promise you to go Grandpa! Naomi! Naomi, come on. Naomi, listen to me. Listen to me. Look, you have to get out of this castle, okay? You need help. You and I are like Romeo and Juliet. But Grandpa knows best. <laughs> Don't go! Don't worry, Need something else? Just looking, that's all. We'll clean you up real nice. Is that the line you use with the ladies on Friday night? You got no game at all, Carl. 
You ever thought about being in the movies? You look really good on film. What the hell are you talking about? I'm just thinking out loud. Being friendly, that's all. I like. Everything I okay here? Russell, my main man. What's up? You, uh, you weren't just fraternizing one of the girls, were you, Carl? Me fraternize? No. We was just talking. Isn't that right, Eva? Sure. Just talking. See? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Miss Ivar needs you for something. Right on it. Everything okay, Eva? Depends on what you mean by okay. Yeah, I guess that's true. Listen, if you ever have any problems with anyone, or if Carl ever gives you any trouble, you know you can come to me. Yeah. All right. Hey. Thanks. Here. They're worry dolls. They're supposed to make all your problems go away. Thanks, hon. Problems can't always be solved that easily. You had to have faith. Told you. You look prettier than most of the whores in this place. What kind of crazy shit you got going on down here? Just make yourself Tell you visiting time is over. Visiting time is over. You hear me? Sick fucker. I know.
have to fight him. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. Liz. Alexis. gotten into you are you crazy I didn't want them bugging you anymore they just had me do a few errands that's all now you don't have to but when Kim finds out what happened you don't need her for an enemy Eva not in here too late for that we're not supposed to wear colors in here that's the rule fuck the rules you'll get in trouble big trouble I'm not gonna let the rules drag me down not today what's with you today anyway I don't know but feel great. Like I could just take on the world and kick its ass. What do you say, Mouse? You wanna kick some ass today or what? I guess. Uh, You're going in the book! What the hell happened? She must have slipped and fell on her bony ass. This psycho bitch did it! She's fucking crazy! This is Russell down the sleeping ward. I've got one for the infirmary stat. What's going on here, Eva? It's a little disagreement is all. I'm gonna have to take you upstairs, you know that. Whatever. Give me the colors. Cyber will kill you if she sees you wearing that. What's that? Probably a zit. Must be the greasy food in this joint. Come on. Let's go see the head bitch. Yes? Oh. I see. Right. That was the infirmary. Liz's arm is broken in three places. She'll be in a cast for two months. Well, that's too bad. Too bad for you.
One more one worry dolls. According to legend, children tell one worry to each doll when they go to bed at night, place the dolls under their pillow. In the morning, the dolls have taken their worries away. Hey, Russell. Oh, uh, hi, Eva. Spook me. This job is too high stress. You've got to relax. Yeah, maybe you're right. What's up? Well, after the fight you got into this morning, I had to search through your belongings. It's regulations. And I hate to do it, but it's the job, you know? No sweat. So what happened to Miss Ivor's office? She just yelled at me some. That's it. Oh, she added a couple months to my stretch. What? Eva, that's not good. It's no biggie. But your daughter. You said you wanted to get out of here so you could start your life over with her and... She'll be okay. You know, this fight with Liz this morning, that's really gonna screw things up for you. From now on, she's gotta stay out of trouble, okay? Thanks for being concerned about me. It's really sweet. Whoa, hey. Eva, come on, you know the rules. Forget the rules. Ms. Ivar's too cheap to put security cameras in here and I don't see anybody else around. Look, look, it's not, it's not that I don't think you're beautiful and I do. We can't do this. We'll both get into a lot of trouble. Eva. Come on. Eva, I mean it. Just kind of do knock it off. I mean it. You know, that bump on your head looks worse than it did this morning. You should go to the infirmary and have it checked out. I'm fine. Yeah, well, you're not acting fine. I feel great. Whatever you say, Eva. Russell. Things are gonna change around here. That thing with Liz, that was only the beginning. Stay out of trouble. For your own good, stay out of my way. Mouse, thanks for coming. We shouldn't be in here. If Ms. Ibar catches us, shit, we're... that bitch ain't nothing to worry about. Besides, you're her favorite little Girl Scout. She ain't gonna never suspect you of nothing. That's why you're gonna be real good at this. I don't want to do it, Kim. Really, I'm scared. Nothing wrong with being scared. Keeps you on your toes, especially now that I'm promoting you to the big time. Big time. Up to now, we've had you running little shit. Cigarettes, some weed. But tonight? Tonight! After midnight, I want you to sneak into the visiting room. But Kim, I don't... Shh! Thought you were taking me back to Miss Ivar's office. First, you and me, we're gonna have a little bit more fun. Seems like we've done this dance before. Oh, are you upset, Carl? What? When that crack I made earlier, throwing those tampons at you, I hurt your feelings. You couldn't hurt my feelings if you tried. Come on, Carl, admit it. When you go home at night, you cry into your pillow, don't you? Give it a rest. Or maybe your head's in your pillow because your boy toy's doing you from behind. Is that it? Keep it up, bitch. You're gonna lose all your teeth. What do you think Miss Ivar would do if she found out about these videos? Aren't you worried about that? You're one dumb rod. Who do you think brought all these cameras? Who do you think is behind all this? Mrs. Ivar is. What? I got into a little trouble about five months ago with the DUI rap. I could have lost my job. Ms. Ivar, she made me an offer. She said if I help her here with this little idea of hers, she'd sweep my DUI under the carpet. She even offered to pay me. I said, hell no. I'd do it for free. This is the greatest gig in the whole world. 
She posts these tapes on the internet. What? Oh, yeah. Prisonbangers.net. That last little go around between you and me, that got downloaded, right? A lot. She wants another one. So, uh, say cheese. Cheese, motherfucker. What the fuck? <laughs> What the hell? Let's see what you're hiding under here. You're not even a man. No wonder you use that strap on on me. You don't even have a dick. you get up here? Carl was nice enough to loan me his keys. What the hell? Carl, this is Ms. Ivar. Get up here on the double. He might not make it. What is that supposed to mean? He's a little tired from all the extra work you've been having him do down in the boiler room. He wanted me to show you this. Or she. Whatever. Go ahead. Take a look. Post that on your little website. It'll bring a whole new audience. You have really stepped in it now, Missy. All I wanted was to do my time and walk away from this place. Just leave it behind me with the rest of my mistakes. Post that on your little website. It'll bring a whole new audience. You have really stepped in it now, Missy. All I wanted was to do my time and walk away from this place. Just leave it behind me with the rest of my mistakes, but you wouldn't let me. No. You've had a hard on for me from the beginning. You and that asshole Carl. I mean, you prefer to little videos. You think that's okay? To treat us like pieces of meat?
Sergeant Dupont in the sidebar's office. Call. Eva, where have you been? We're supposed to be on lockdown. Didn't you hear the alarm? I hear it. I'm the one that said it all. What happened to you? I did what you've been telling me to do. I stood up to her. Stood up to who? Kim. I told her I'm not going to be her mule. This is what she did to me. But I didn't tell her where I hid the drugs. I didn't tell her Eva. I did all right, didn't I? You did fine. Now I can sell the drugs myself. I'll finally have some power of my own. And I won't have to do errands for them. They're not going to push me around anymore. Wait right here. Where are you going? To settle a score. Answer. This is Security Officer Russell Jordan at the Meredith Detention Center. I need a medical team up here, stat. And send back up. Quarter after ten. She ain't gonna show. Told you that bitch would chicken out, didn't I? You did. <laughs> she's scared of you. <laughs> what are you bitches celebrating for? Well, well. Look who decided to show up. I wouldn't miss it. You come on down here for your ass whooping, huh, girl? Oh, there's gonna be an ass whooping, all right, but it's not gonna be mine. Oh. fuck you up, but you were already there, bitch. What the hell happened to you? I don't know what you mean. Ugly motherfucker. You scared, Kim? Scared? What, are you? You look scared. No, that's crazy talk. Good. Just want to make sure we're still on for our little rumble. Oh, it's on. And Alexis is going to sit this one out, right? Yeah, just me and you. That's too bad, because I'd love to give you a pop, bitch. <laughs> you a present. Oh my gosh, what have you done? What I should have done a long time ago. She's not in charge anymore. We are. Not this way. We don't need this kind of trouble. No trouble. I call it payback. Go on. Give her a kick or two. She's not gonna fight back. No! Go on, you owe her. This isn't you talking. This isn't like you. 
We said give her a kick. <gasps> See? It wasn't so hard, was it? No, I won't do it. Don't be such a wuss. You need help. Stay away from me. Try to try this mouse. It's better than any drug. No! Get away from me, Russell. Stay right there. That thing won't hurt me. Put it down. Or I'll hurt you. Okay. You'd come with me, Eva. Would you do that? Like you'd get you some help. Help for what? I'm fine. But you're not fine. What well, you've done. This isn't you, Eva. It's the new me. Look like what you've done. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Eva, I know you can hear me. She wants to see her again. She wants to see you. She loves you, Eva. You gotta get well. Do it for your little girl. like the legend says. They took my worries away. Sorry, honey. Your worries are just beginning.
way to play hooky and hit the beat. So come on, let's blast out under the blue sky and crank it. Oh, I'd love to rock out, pal. You know anyone that'll come and get me down off this kitchen counter? Perfect. Chicken a bottle. All I gotta do is find her. Hey, buddy. You seen a girl around here about my size? Huh? What's the matter? You never seen a cop before? Perfect, baby. Just the thing to drive G.I. Joe insane. Will you get the hell out of here? Look, you're a public figure now, okay? Let's face it, there aren't that many foot-tall cutie pies running around out there, and the public has a right to know. Do you have any respect for freedom of the press, for God's sake? Knock it off. Oh, you scared me. Oh, I think I wet myself. You could at least use a bottle opener. What do you want? An exclusive interview with you. Wearing a teeny weeny little bikini. Then you'll leave me alone forever. All right. Great. Great. Just uh, give me a couple of days. I'll put some wardrobe together. I'll call Barbie's people. Maybe they'll give us a loan. <laughs> I'll see you later. Doll. I can hardly wait. The exterminator's here. Don't worry. You're not dreaming. Who are you? Bardo. Brick Bardo. Papers call me Doll Man. Doll Man? Clever, huh? Yeah, I'm real. I don't understand any of this. Did you get shrunk like I did? Come on, I'll fill you in. Ago, I would have just squished it. Never knew anything so small could be so scary. Yeah. Nightmares come in all sizes. I saw your interview. You know where they are. Wasting your breath. You know, I can make life very difficult for you, Collins. Yeah. Look, cop or no cop, I don't have to give up a damn thing to you. All I need is an address. Ever since we ran this story, I've had people dropping out of trees, making me huge offers to tell them where these two little freaks are, okay? Fine. So what does it hurt you to help me a little bit? You well done yet? Can't be too thin or too tan. Or too small. Very funny. These firestorms in Arturos used to get up to uh, 400 degrees. People get so tan they were toast. <laughs> Would I be a babe on Arturos? Yeah, you do all right. Wow, that almost sounded like a compliment. Maybe it was. You talk too much about your home, Bardo. Yeah, I'm too far away from it. Is it? Not anymore. And you should be able to talk about it. I told you how I got into this whole mess, and I don't even know how you ended up on Earth. What's Arturus like? Are there bug-eyed monsters all over the place? Is that real dangerous? Hell, your kitchen is dangerous. Come on. So you're a cop, right? Yeah. Behind 
you. Sorry. What's the layout? Two floors, with an air conditioning system running through the whole place. You could flush the toys out from one side, I could nail them from the other. If they're there. It'll see them soon enough. If we bust this case, it'll square it for you. You know, I don't even care if the department knows about this. I just want to kill those little bastards. That's far enough. Now get the hell away from her. This shit, what do you need me for? The first asshole was just an accident. We need a steady supply of blood to reach our full strength. I can get you all the hookers you need. As long as you keep your end of the bargain. You're gonna protect us until we can summon the master? Yeah, as long as he gives me everything I want. No problem. Believe me, your life's gonna change. <laughs> Quiet. As usual. Get me inside. I'll take care of that. Set. Set. This is back for another ass kicking. <laughs> Officer Gray doesn't give up easy. Look alive to me. Yeah, well, this is just the kid stuff. I have been honey since I landed on this planet. This ought to be fun. The toys come in through that duct. So they could be any place in the whole building. So let me in there to meet the sons of bitches. Ginger, you take cover. I'm no wimp, you know. Yeah, I know, baby. 
But you don't have a gun. We do. <laughs> Who's out there? Arnold Schwarzenegger? Who? You drive him back? Nah. They'll stick their heads out again. They love to play this cat and mouse shit. was two of the toys, but there's more. And they can go any place. It's your turn now, Bardo. Good luck. Finish the job. Okay, Bart. Hold on.
he's a bit high up at the moment. What's going on?
You truly enjoyed it, my dear. Don't no, take the bubble away from me! You need the hell away from you? You've got it all wrong. I'm gonna get the hell inside you. Now give it to them all, gay suckers. Too late, Fargo. Drop the gun or I'll kill the girl.
you say you want to come here, I said, you do. And so, well, everybody said, well, we'll let down. Step on. So, patience. Oh, watch out. Oh, come here, little fucker. 